Right, so what we're going to do now is show you how to, um, now that we've shown you how to tie in the, uh, the stock or the drone into the stock, I'm going to show you now how to do the same for the sliders basically. So those are the things where the drone slides on to tune it. So here's the thing, um, this one has been combination of all three of them terrels I showed you earlier. So probably the idea that he started with was using the black hemp, which is the right one in my perspective, but um, then added, started bulking it up with non-waxed hemp and plumber's tape as a, I suppose, a idea that maybe that's an easy way to keep it, keep it um, consistent. I suppose also the, there was a hope there that combining the plumber's tape with the the hemp would give it just that, uh, make it less susceptible to the movement. But I think um, actually the plumber's tape tends to sort of sink into the hemp so it becomes almost as if the hemp becomes waxed and becomes very brittle actually and I'll show you why. Now so basically I'm taking that blade that I used earlier, I'm just going to cut a little um, incision in there, a bit of pipe surgery if you will. Um, and you'll notice, wow, do you see that? So as I take it off, it actually looks like a piece of insulation tape. <laughs> so, you know, uh, if anyone's ever tried insulation tape and bagpipes for any of these purposes, you know it's not, not a good idea. So I took that off. Cool. No problem at all. Um, lovely. He's actually already hemped the sliders and it's been hemped pretty much correctly. It's fairly flush. You use the same technique that I showed you here to tie that in. No difference. So you basically just wrap it in, make sure you're using the bobbin as the fulcrum and then, um, you know, to, uh, use that zigzag method at the end. So you use less hemp per layer as you get closer to the Nirvana fit. Now let's have a look here. You can see that's definitely not fitting. So what I would have done is in the first instance, I would have, um, if it did become an issue like this, which is very unlikely, I think it, he started in this way on purpose. Um, I would actually um, just make sure I tied in with the black hemp correctly the first time. So what I'll do is now showing you how to bulk up something that you would have tied in originally. That's still good. So you don't want to retie the whole thing. So I'm just using my finger to hold the end. Um, you don't need to have like a, a special fishing scout knot or something like that. An official knot. Um, and so... Once I've got that nicely gripped, now I'm going to use that sort of um, zigzag technique. So you see I'm basically tying across diagonally just to bulk it up. And I'm keeping a nice firm pressure on it, right? Um, being sure not to go over the ridge there because that's going to be cause problems. Um, and so I'm just going to do probably two layers for now. And I'm going to give it a little wrap here, a loop. I showed you how to do the loop earlier, just tie that loop on, give it a little wiggle and let's see how we go. So now I reckon that will be just fine. So so I've obviously just overdone it a little bit. So you can see I can just pull it back given that I've used that loop and so I've pulled it back to that point there and let's see. Let's see now what happens. Okay. Too, too much. One layer, just by moving it back on that, on that loop, so I don't actually have to lose the tension in it. And that's gave it a little bit of pressure just to, to bed it in. And now you can see I'm going fairly far down just to make sure then I'm getting consistency across. Okay, that's pretty good. Now you notice just at the top here, and you don't really want your drones tuning there, but just at the top, it's a little bit not great. But over there, it's perfect where it normally be. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bulk it up right at the top here. So. Okay, I wind up the bobbin a little bit so I get the right length that I need. Okay, which about that much really. Um, I'm at the bottom with the loop, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move up really quickly to the top with that, and then I'm gonna just bulk it up with one or two turns at the top here, and give it a little loop. And uh, 
hope that this should do it. Okay, um, I can cut off the edges with the blade if I want to as well. Um, and it might need a little bit of force to go on the first time. This is holding it right on the edge there um, and it can come down. You want to be able to turn this pretty much with one hand um, so that's the sort of thing so when you're tuning your drones you can just tune it with one hand and what I would do is this I probably would have tied this in from scratch again because I think the lower layers um, not fair not good pressure and not um, firm enough so basically it's it's got a little tendency to move on on the slide itself which is not great but that will do the trick that'll work all good.